Hello and welcome back to another vlog. It's Valentine's Day today. So happy Valentine's Day. If you want to celebrate it, if you want to say, no, I'm not recognizing any of this, then that's okay too. I'm not, I don't care about Valentine's Day. I decorated for my dad, you know, when he was just in his last years, we couldn't really do much, so I would decorate a lot. But other than that, I would get him presents and things, but <sighs> anywho, it is Wednesday. <clears throat> Let us have a TMI conversation about IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, and salad. And the fact that in two nights in a row, I had giant salads and yeah, Jen done, Jen done that. <laughs> Vegetables do not like me. They just that my system is like, no. So, yeah. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I'm in the basement. Because someone ordered four pieces of um, Princess House Crystal. So, let's go grab it. I still have time before the postman comes today and we can get it out in the mail. So, this was a great sale. They bought four of the Crystal House um, animal figurines. So, they got the lion. They got the... This is the jaguar on there. Um, the swan and the dolphin. Oh my gosh, Disney World peeps, the swan and the dolphin. Did you see what I did there? Or what I realized I did? Anyway, so um, they paid $140.96 for all four plus shipping. Again, right now, most of my store is 40% off. I want to clear some stuff out. We'll clear it all out. That'd be great. Um, uh, anyway, so I'm going to get a nice big box. They also sent me a message saying, I think they said they bought for me before maybe, but they um, talked about another, getting another package from somebody. It was so badly packaged and it chipped or chipped, uh, chipped, uh, um, and they were glad to buy from a seller who packaged well. So, yay. Well, quick trip out to Sam's Club to pick up some stuff. Um getting some water, getting another chicken, no salad. We need to take a break from the vegetables. Anyway, got the um, princess house order shipped out and working on my book. I, I tell you what, there's the writing the book, then the illustration book, then putting the book together in Canva and then the upload process on Amazon. Like it, it's a lot of work, <laughs> it's not easy. Um, but as I, you know, keep doing it, I know the process will get faster for me. So anyway, I just ordered an author proof so I can get a physical copy and make sure everything's okay before I hit publish. So that's exciting. And yeah, I think when I get home, I'm going to make some bacon in the oven. Some, I call them bacon chips because I chop the bacon up. Like I take a slab of bacon and like cut it up into thirds or fourths. I'll probably do thirds. It's a little easier. Um, and then lay it over the baking rack, bake it. It's only like 20, 25 minutes to get it nice and crispy. And then you've got like little chips rather than a big old honking long thing of bacon and half of it doesn't get cooked and run around. Anyway, that's the plan. Exciting plan. I didn't realize it was this cold and I just wore a light jacket. Oh, so I'm back home now making my baked bacon. I already did one batch. I just cut a slab of bacon into thirds and then drape it over the um, wire rack with foil. So the grease drips off and I'm doing it at 400 for 30 minutes. Get it nice and crispy. This was thick cut bacon from Sam's. So it's taking a lot longer, but this is so good like this. Let me show you what the bacon looks like once it's done. See, so you get all these little crispy little bits. So that is my recipe for bacon chips. <laughs> Right, couple orders came in. I actually sent offers. I really want to clean what I've got out. So I've already had a 40% off sale and then I'm sending offers on top of that. So if you see something in the store, you know, watch it and you should get an offer. Um, first, this lot of Vintage Viewmaster with the Disney ones. This ended up selling for 30. Um, I just, again, I wanted it sold. Um, so happy to see that go out. And then this lot of dollhouse furniture. I also set an offer. And this all sold for 30 as well. And of course, the buyers are paying shipping on top of that. I know I've shown you guys this before, but a little thing I do when you've got something that has the box, but it's rattling in the box, um, just a little tissue paper tucked in there. 
just so it's not making a bunch of noise during shipment. It's a quick and easy way. Just again, make sure it's not bouncing all over because you know the post office or UPS or whoever delivers it's probably throwing it about 30 all feet. Right. Had another eBay order. Haven't had any eBay orders in so long. It's like, oh, what's going on? And now becomes the where did I put it? Where oh there it is. There it is. It's this little antique milk glass light bulb, the snowman. I, I had another uh, similar type of thing. It was a Santa and it was a two-sided. So like one side Santa's eyes were open, the other side was closed. Not sold for more, but this one sold for $11.99. For a light bulb that is untested, I will take it. <laughs> it is the next day, Thursday, and I just had an eBay sale. And it is this big bag of various mini brands. I've been having sales and sending offers. So this finally sold for $59.99 with the buyer pain shipping. So I'm super happy with that price. Like I price high so I can have sales. And then I usually don't send offers. I just don't feel they work very well. But again, I've been sending super low offers. Um, so it'll help if you get it cheap enough. But anyway, this is a very nice sale. I have so many of these. I used to collect them. My dad loved opening them. I just have a bazillion of them. So time to thin out the collection because I'm really not, I'm just honestly haven't been interested in them ever since my dad died. He really loved them. He loved opening them. And I just kind of been like, eh, I don't care anymore. <laughs> but anyway, we'll get this all. Oh, okay. We have a lot of packages. What's in the packages? I'm honestly not sure. Um, so we will find out together unless it's something like private and personal, but I, I don't know what that would be, but let's start opening things up. This has been piling up for a few so days. I got this bottle of undo. I'd never heard of this before, but Misty mentioned it in her video. And by the way, thank you to Misty who um, did a giveaway for my new book. She bought two copies and she did a giveaway on her channel. So thank you, Misty. Um, she was talking about how this will take residue off of ephemera and paper and not ruin the ink. I never knew about this. So yeah, I, Papa would have loved, Papa would have been so excited about this, but we didn't know it existed. So I bought a bottle of this and another box is a bottle of Gorilla Glue. I love this stuff and I'm just completely out. So, um, I normally would buy this like at Menards or something or Sam's Club actually has a good bundle on it, but I needed some. So I ordered it from Sam or Amazon. This is another freebie flow deal. I know I've been talking about freebie flow on here. It is a subscription service that I'm just kind of testing out and it links to your Amazon Prime account and it scours Amazon for discount codes. And depending on your settings, you can get things 100% for free if you want to set it that way. I currently, I've been playing around with mine. I currently have mine at 99% off with a maximum of a dollar, I think, or $5. Anyway, just to see. But this is something that came for free. So this was a freebie, and it is this leather-bound journal. How cool is that? And again, with the, I know I do pay for the freebie flow subscription and then pay for an Amazon Prime. But, you know, I'm just kind of testing it out, reviewing it. Um, but this was 100% free. This is another freebie from Freebie Flow. It's a four by four climbing car. And I'm tempted to just leave it in the box as is and take it to the consignment store like this. Cause it's kind of what I'm doing is obviously testing it, reviewing it, but then like I get things for free and I can take them to the consignment store and sell them, then I'm making money. So anyway, this another uh, free item. And one more free item is this wireless mouse. These are always handy. So I'll probably be tucking that away in my office supplies because sometimes I've got two and sometimes one flies off and I'm like, where the heck did it go? I'll have a backup. Okay, I ordered another snackle box and this one is gonna be for the fridge. I have the first and I put all my little candies and things in it. This one's gonna be for the fridge because I wasn't sure, like when I first got it, I was like, uh, I'd been thinking fridge or snacks, but once my, <coughs> excuse me, little candies fit in there so well, I decided I would get one for the refrigerator for like olives and little bits and bites. Here, by the way, is <laughs> the snack one. Now, have I eaten any of this? No, because again, I like to hoard candy. So I'm just kind of looking at it, but I love it. I love it. I've been linking it below in the video. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm gonna fill this one up with stuff from the fridge. This is a couch throw, basically. It's just a big 
blanket that works for couches and chairs. And I think, I'm not sure what size I got for this, but I wanted to get one to cover the sofa and put on my chair. I just put a blanket over there, so I'm not gonna put it out now. But I really, really like these. They work so much better than a traditional blanket because you know, you're know you not seeing all the hair. Um, I kind of rearranged it the other day, but I really like this. So if you've got furniture you wanna protect, um, I love this and I need to put it in my Amazon store too. Tons of colors, tons of sizes. They have a lot of different brands that look exactly the same on Amazon. So you know how Amazon is, there's just a bunch of different sellers. But anyway, um, basically it's just called like a couch throw. So thumbs up for me and these two as well. I just did their nails. So they're like very, very hyped up, but we were good about it, weren't we? Yeah, and last but not least, latest Ipsy bag. Ipsy is a beauty subscription service. I'm currently getting the monthly bag and the monthly box, which is actually now BoxyCharm, but still says Ipsy because the brands combined. I had paid for subscriptions up front, so um, I'm not continuing with these because I end up getting way too much stuff. I take stuff to the consignment store and I'm like, what am I doing? So anyway, but I'm getting them still until the subscription runs out. So there's a cute little bag. Let me I get this open. All right, so we have got setup setting spray. We have Ren Ready Steady Glow Tonic. This little Beet Glow Boosting Serum. This Feel Probiotic Moisturizer. And then this is a little Siesta Key. What are you? It's just a little bronzer. So, well, that's what came in Ipsy. Teddy, Charlie, it's Friday. It's Friday. I just really haven't been filming much. I haven't gone anywhere. Um, I feel bad. There's like not much really to vlog. What are you doing, Teddy? I'm trying to get a little work done. Yeah. And Charlie's like, no, let's go sit out in the living room, Mom. I wish I could. Mommy's book sales are awful in the last few days. I don't know what's going on. I think a lot of it has to do with there was a Super Bowl and then there's Valentine's Day and now we're coming up on a three-day weekend. I think there's a lot of people who, you know, took this week off. It just always reflected like when kids are out of school or, you know, you kind of holiday, long weekend, um, book sales definitely go down because people aren't online shopping, are they? Plus the weather's been so nice in our area. More people are out and about, but it's kind of discouraging. I started off the month so great, and now it's like, oh. That's what Charlie's like. That's boring, Mom. Talking about that. Look at that face. Teddy, can you look at the camera? Teddy, are you so excited about the next book? The next book that's coming focuses on Teddy. I mean, Charlie's in it. <gasps> yes, you are. But the focus is a little bit more on Teddy in this one. But the next one we'll do, then might it be a focus on Charlie? Because we got lots of stories to tell, don't we, buddy? Yep. Yep, we do, people. Now, tell mom to go sit in the living room so we can snuggle. Because that's my favorite thing to do. <laughs> right? Oh, you got an eye booger. <gasps> I see your eye booger. Because their eyes are so, like, forward, they get little pusses that come out of their eyes. And we call them eye boogers. Teddy, do you have an eye booger? Say we got manicures and pedicures yesterday. And we were fairly good about it. I use the Dremel. Um... So that's something we did, huh? <laughs> They're waiting for my brother to come home. Oh, it is so windy. We got a little tiny dusting of snow, but obviously in the sun it's melted. Oh, but it is so windy. Go hurry up. Go hurry up. Go, go, go. Kitchen. Every time I have a little dip in my book sales, I'm like, well, it's over. I'm going to have to go back to eBay. <laughs> but like I talked about before, I'm making my icy. Again, it's just an ice cream maker. You freeze the drum and is this one. I have it linked in my Amazon storefront. I'll try to link it below this video, but if not, it's in my Amazon store, which is which is linked below the video. But anyway, I always feel like, oh, I better get back to eBay. I do have things to list, like not a lot, but I do have some things. So <clears throat> I am waiting for the author proof of my next children's book. Amazon lets you order an author proof. You'd have to pay for it. Um, and it has like proof or not for resale or something, a big bar across it. Um, but with these children's books, 
I really want to do that and make sure like everything actually looks right before I hit publish. Um, so while I wait for that, like this weekend would be a good time to maybe get some more stuff on eBay. I have started writing the next book. I'm like trying to slow myself down a little. And this is, and this is honest to be, to tell you guys the truth is I don't want it to be like, I'm publishing so many of these books and making you guys feel like I expect you to buy them because I don't. And I don't want anybody to ever feel like, oh, she's here she goes another one. I guess she wants us to go by that. I don't want you to feel that way. Um, it's not why I'm doing this. I mean, yes, I can this be additional income? Yes. But also, do I love it? Yes. Do I ever expect anybody to buy anything from me? Absolutely not. Um, I'm really bad, actually, at like promoting and selling. Um, so I just... I worry if I do these books too fast, you guys are going to be like, oh, no, she just keeps writing, you know, she expects us to buy these books. So I hope nobody feels like that. Um, I certainly don't. So anyway, but I, I do also just in the whole publishing process. And so I don't fry my brain and again, wear myself out is to try to slow down a bit. So I do have, I have been trying to spend the weekends like tidying the house, which I've been doing a good job of. I actually don't have that much to do. Um, but like, you know, just trying to take a little bit of time off, but I have a lot of things like to do in the kitchen. I have celery to chop up. I hard boiled some more eggs. Maybe I should make some cookies or something, but let me show you my snackle box. I bought a second for stuff for the fridge. So let me show you what it's So I had in. the snackle box, which is a snack. It's a tackle box for snacks. It is linked below um, and in my Amazon store. So I have one for my little candy and stuff, but then I got another one for cold food. Now, obviously I have a lot of carrots and I actually have more carrots than this. They didn't all fit in the snackle box. So I'm a little annoyed by that. Same with the olives. It's a little small to keep the whole thing. But anyway, then we've got green olives. Then we've got the rest of my chicken. This is that, um, vegetable dip, the, um, what is it? French onion one. And then this is like a cheese spread. <laughs> it's a little too tall, but you put it on crackers. It is Schulzberg cheese, um, cheddar and almond, Swiss and almond maybe. I don't know. It's so good, but I had it in there. I'm like, I'll put that in here too but it kind of is a little too big. But anyway, so that's in what the cold snackle box looks right. Again, I wish I wish everything was different. It's, but then I see, I put the carrots here and then the olives there. So it's like the border of the others. I don't know, I, I have weird thoughts. But anyway, this is the cold snackle box. Now. And I used my egg dash egg cooker to hard boil some eggs. Um, I love this thing. You know, I hate to like promote gadgets that you, your whole house is cluttered with gadgets. But if you ever hard boiled eggs, this sucker is worth it. I have the double one. Again, this is linked in my Amazon store. I'll try to remember to link it below the video directly. But anyway, it can do up to six, seven, eight, nine, 12 dozen, or you can just do, you know, the bottom. So I did six um, in there. I, I love it. It works so well it works better than trying to do them on top of the stove which i know i've talked about before for years that's how papa did them but when i tried to do it it didn't work papa had the secret the secret uh, touch and i can't get them so this is a lifesaver so i'm going to do some baking i'm going to make my peanut butter chocolate chip cookies which are simply the nestle toll house recipe um except i add in a spoon of peanut butter and then i do a combination of semi-sweet milk chocolate and peanut butter chips and yeah, they are so, so good. I haven't made them in quite a while. So but right now I'm refilling my jars. It's kind of weird. This, I think I got these at, at home maybe? I'm not sure. Or Amazon, one of the two. But like this one, it doesn't seal. I don't know. I never used to do this before, but like trying to get all the ingredients, not only set out, but measured out before I start baking. I don't know. Do you guys do that? I've never done it before. I just grab and go. I'm like, you know, it makes more sense if you measure it all out first. So two cups and then a fourth of the flour. And you got to get it just so, you know, got to get it just so. I don't sift. I'm not sifting. We're not, we're not going to do that. I think that's about, that's enough. <laughs> oh, well, you got to do the fourth cup, the extra fourth cup. 